How does the structure of a molecule affect its polarity? The polarity of a molecule is determined by its molecular structure, specifically the arrangement and distribution of its atoms and electron density. The following factors play a crucial role in determining the polarity of a molecule. Electronegativity. Electronegativity is the ability of an atom to attract electrons towards itself in a chemical bond. When two atoms with different electronegativities are bonded together, the electron density is not evenly shared, resulting in a polar covalent bond. The atom with higher electronegativity will have a partial negative charge, delta, and the atom with lower electronegativity will have a partial positive charge, delta plus. The greater the difference in electronegativity, the more polar the bond and molecule will be. Molecular geometry, the spatial arrangement of atoms in a molecule, also known as its molecular geometry, affects its polarity. The geometry determines the distribution of electron density and whether the polar bonds cancel out or reinforce each other. For example, a linear molecule with two identical atoms bonded to a central atom will be nonpolar since the polar bonds are in opposite directions and cancel each other out. On the other hand, a bent or V-shaped molecule with the same atoms bonded to a central atom will be polar since the polar bonds do not cancel each other out. Symmetry. Symmetry plays a crucial role in determining the polarity of a molecule. If a molecule has a symmetrical arrangement of polar bonds, the bond polarities may cancel out, resulting in a nonpolar molecule. For example, carbon dioxide CO2 has two polar CO bonds, but the molecule is linear and symmetrical, causing the bond polarities to cancel out, making it nonpolar. However, if a molecule has an asymmetrical arrangement of polar bonds, the bond polarities do not cancel out, resulting in a polar molecule. For example, water, H2O, has two polar OH bonds, but the molecule is bent and asymmetrical, causing the bond polarities to reinforce each other, making it polar. Molecular dipole moment. The dipole moment of a molecule is a measure of its overall polarity. It is a vector quantity that represents the separation of positive and negative charges within the molecule. The dipole moment is determined by both the polarities of individual bonds and the molecular geometry. If the individual bond dipole moments do not cancel out, the molecule will have a net dipole moment, making it polar. If the individual bond dipole moments cancel out, the molecule will have a zero net dipole moment, making it nonpolar. In summary, the polarity of a molecule is influenced by the electronegativity difference between atoms, the molecular geometry, the symmetry of the molecule, and the overall dipole moment. These factors combine determine whether a molecule is polar or nonpolar, which has implications for its chemical properties and interactions with other molecules. Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.